everybody, and welcome to Indie Corner TV. I'm your host, Jonathan Moody, and I'm here with... Sam Ellis. And, and you, you are the character designer for Archer. Yeah, season one, I was a uh, lead character designer with Chad Hurd, and Neil Holman was our director. Awesome. And uh, also, my brother is a huge fan of Frisky Dingo. Uh, can you tell us how that started? Uh, Frisky Dingo, the guys at 7030 Productions, uh, pitched that at Adult Swim when they were done with C-Lab 2021, and uh, I came in on season two and uh, had fun doing it. And, uh, and basically, how did Archer even come about? Uh, Adam pitched it to a bunch of different networks. Um, it, he took uh, a hiatus from, from working for a while and uh, took time to write it. And I was fortunate enough to be asked to do designs for it. And uh, he knew me and, and you know, we had worked previously. So, uh, yeah, we just kind of flew right into it. Now, what, what do you, would you say is like your favorite character you've ever designed? Oh, it's, I don't know who my favorite one. So, okay, well, I'm working on a book called Robot Cowboy Samurai. And um, there's a character named Percy Jane. He's a cowboy. Hands down, he's my favorite character. Uh, I mean, he's a cowboy, but he's a slim guy. He wears red and orange, and uh, he looks cool. Uh, he's got the right straights and curves, and um, it'll be out sometime in the future. Uh, I'm going to be doing it through Action Lab um, Entertainment, but um, yeah, he's my favorite character I've designed. Uh, now, is there a character like one day you hope to be able to do that you haven't done yet? Um, I'd if I so if I could do a one-shot book, it would be uh, Doctor Fate and the Spectre. Uh, working at a strip mall, solving paranormal cl crimes that seem small in scope, that have these giant uh, eternal, you know, outcomes. So, yeah, that'd be awesome. I I'd love to draw them. So, if if you're watching someone over there at DC, I just need 16 pages. I put it in a solid 32 or 24. Let me know. Yeah, why not? Sure. <laughs> um, now, uh, what are you doing here at Tidewater Comic Con? Uh, so I come out to Tidewater Comic Con every year and um, sign books. I'm helping promote a small show called FredCon in uh, Fredericksburg, Virginia, and we've got an Action Lab um, Actionverse number one exclusive uh, variant that we're selling to try to help raise money for that show. And uh, hanging out with Brian Seaton of Action Labs, who's uh, the publisher that I work with. Is there anything else you want to let people know about? Um, check out actionlabcomics.com for uh, a bunch of the books that we're selling. Um, in August, uh, a card game that I designed uh, with the Miraculous Ladybug, uh, which is one of the highest rated shows on Nickelodeon. Um, you'll be able to get that uh, in stores and on Amazon. Um, but it, I did a Kickstarter four years ago for a game called Throwdown, and uh, it's fun to see how people that have helped me crowd, crowdfund a, a small project. Um, I mean, to have an ad on the back of a comic is really cool. I was like, awesome. hey, that's my logo. <laughs> um, you know, and to see that uh, more people will be able to play that card game. Um, it's a fun, fast-paced, quick, easy-to-learn card game that you can play with two or more players. Um, and it's it's priced correctly. It's right at that fifteen dollar mark. So and it comes with a free copy of Miraculous One, uh, carried through Action Lab. So get the game, get to read the book, watch on show, play games. It's, it's good. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for the interview. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for having me. And thank you guys for watching. <laughs>